Hi guys, welcome back to Codemaster Coach, your medical coding tutor. In part one of medical coding of encephalopathy, I introduced you to several medical terms. So today, or in part two, what I'd like to do is take it a step further and show you how to code those medical terms. So we talked about autonomic dysreflexia, um, hydrocephalus and secondary hydrocephalus, as well as encephalopathy, there's anoxic encephalopathy, alcoholic encephalopathy, uh, hepa hepatic encephalopathy, metabolic encephalopathy, toxic encephalopathy, Warnick's encephalopathy, and then unspecified encephalopathy. So because we discussed them in part one, you know what they are. You've had time to research them, better understand what they are. So if your physician diagnoses your patient with any of these diagnoses, you'll know what they are and what to look for in the chart. But what about the code book? Well, let's do just that. Let's code these diagnoses, okay? So follow along with me. Because these are diagnoses, I will need to use ICD-10-CM, okay? All right, so in ICD-10-CM, <clears throat> we're gonna look at first thing, autonomic dysreflexia. So with that diagnosis, autonomic dysreflexia, and guys, the best advice I can give you until you learn the language of the book is to look up every word in your diagnoses. I know that sounds crazy, but until you can learn the language of the book, which is just like learning a foreign language to me, look up every word in your diagnoses. So we got autonomic dysreflexia. So I know the main term I'm going to go to is dysreflexia. And I've got my book tab to kind of speed this up because we only have so much time on a video. So if I go to dysreflexia, right there where my tab is, autonomic, it gives me G90.4. Okay, main term dysreflexia, subterm autonomic, G90.4. And what you do based on that code is you then go to the back of the book, to your tabular, and you go to G90.4. And there it is. Let me get a good focus. Autonomic dysreflexia. And remember, in our talks on yesterday, we said that um, you code the autonomic dysreflexia first. And there's a note there that says that. But you also use an additional code to identify the cause. And it gives you such as. My lighting is horrible. Let's see if I get it to go down so you can see it. Use additional code to identify the cause, such as fecal impaction, pressure ulcer, and urinary tract infection. All of that is right there at G90.4. All right, guys? That's autonomic dysreflexia. The next term we talked about was hydrocephalus. <clears throat> we talked about primary and secondary hydrocephalus. So that's your main word that you're going to go to is hydrocephalus. Main term, hydrocephalus, right there. And with hydrocephalus, you have just primary hydrocephalus, G91.9. And we talked about yesterday communicating, which is secondary hydrocephalus, G91.0. So let's look at both of those codes. G91.9. You look in your tabular under the code that it gives you. Okay. And notice G91 says hydrocephalus. And when you continue on in G90, G91.0 communicating or secondary, G91.9 obstructive hydrocephalus. 92 idiopathic Remember, unknown cause, 93. And it goes on, it gives you, it just, G91 category is hydrocephalus. But the two we talked about on yesterday were just regular hydrocephalus and communicating, which is secondary hydrocephalus. All right. And the next main term we talked about yesterday was encephalopathy. Remember, we talked about a brain condition. <clears throat> okay, let's go to encephalopathy. Main term because it's different types of encephalopathy. 
I'm going to go down to main term encephalopathy right there. And the first one we talked about on yesterday was anoxic. Well, when I go to anoxic, what does anoxic tell me? See, damage, brain, anoxic. And what I like, damage, D, is capital. So that lets me know it's a main term I'm going to look up. So go to main term, damage, and then subterm, brain. And I call it sub subterm, anoxic. So let's do that. Let's go to damage. Main term damage. And I tab this to speed this up for you guys and still going slow. Main term damage. Subterm brain. Okay, see that? Damage. Go down to brain. Anoxic. G93.0. Exactly what we said on yesterday. What about alcoholic? Encephalopathy. Let's go back to encephalopathy. Back to main term encephalopathy. Alcoholic. There it is. G31.2. And when you get those codes, you go back to the back and you look them up. I know a lot of times when I'm doing my videos online, I don't take the time to do that. But remember, always confirm your code. And it said for alcoholic, it said G31.2. Go back and look up G31.2. There it is, degeneration of nervous system due to alcohol. And there it is, alcoholic encephalopathy. And as long as that term is under that diagnosis or that code, I know I'm at the right place. Okay, guys, let's keep going. Hepatic encephalopathy. Hepatic encephalopathy. So go back to main term, encephalopathy. Go to subterm hepatic. And when I go down under hepatic, it says C failure hepatic. See that under hepatic? I'm under main term encephalopathy hepatic. And it says C failure, capital F, that's the main term, hepatic. So then I'm gonna go me go to main term. Failure. Where does main term start? There's main term. Failure. And I'm going to go down to subterm. C, D, E. See hepatic at the top, but it's staying continued, so it started at the bottom. Where does hepatic start? Over. Okay. I meant to have these flags so that it wouldn't take this long. I can't see without my glasses. Okay, where are they at? Failure hepatic. It's down here somewhere. There it is. Okay. Hepatic, right there. Let's see, it's the K72, as we said on yesterday. The K72 category, K72.90. And because with failure hepatic, it can be so many types, make sure you revert, review your subterms. But it is the K72 category, as we said on yesterday. Going back to encephalopathy, we had metabolic. And 
under the main term, encephalopathy. We're looking for metabolic. Alphabetical order. Metabolic G9341. Okay. We also had toxic encephalopathy. So under encephalopathy, main term, go to subterm toxic. And there it is. Category G92. Warnix is right there. Right there. E51.2. And then unspecified because it stopped at W, UVW. There is no unspecified. I go with the main term encephalopathy. Let's see it there. G93.40 encephalopathy. Okay, guys, that's it. That's part two of medical coding of encephalopathy. But again, guys, use your code books. Learn the language of your code books, and it's going to take practice. But the main thing is follow the notes in your code book to find a code, and then confirm your code in your tabular. Go back here and see what it tells you about each code as you find it. Okay, guys? That's it. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.